I'm not stopping with this thought. It is important to listen to more than just stock experts. You gotta be willing to get new ideas from people who know more than we do, who understand the business side of things. Rule number 21 from getting back to even. And it's doubly true when it comes to the consumer. Well, we can talk about price journeys, multiples, product cycles, estimates all day. But that doesn't necessarily give us any insight into what people like or why they buy what they buy. So therefore, we don't know what the future is going to bring. To really get inside the head of the consumer, we need to hear from someone who's actually done that, who understands how people think better than you and I do. That's why I am thrilled to have Damon John, a.k.a. The Shark, the fashion designer, author, and businessman, best known for being the founder and CEO of FUBU, on the show tonight. Legacy. He successfully created brands. He's written books about it, Display of Power, How FUBU Changed the World of Fashion, and my favorite, which I loved, I loved and thought, I, and I learned so much, you will too, The Brand Within. He's also a regular participant in Shark Tank, the entrepreneurship reality show on ABC. Damon John is the man we need to help us get a better understanding of the loyalty-based relationships that brands and celebrities create with their customers and fans. Hey, he's also a fan of the show. When we spoke to Danny Meyer, remember that, the author and restaurateur, another guy who understands the consumer side, we created a hospitality index of companies that knew how to make their customers feel at home. It's dramatically outperformed the S&P 500, up 114.5% since February 2nd, 2009, versus 45% for the S&P. Tonight, we want to do something similar. Put together a Damon John brand loyalty index, including his hand-picked favorites. Write these down. Ralph Lauren, JetBlue, Avon, Under Armour, Disney, J.P. Morgan, and First Solar. Damon John is a brand master with a unique perspective on public companies. We want to hear how brand loyalty should boost these names in our index, along with other lifestyle brands like Apple, Google, and Coca-Cola. Mr. John, welcome to Mad Money. How are you, Thank sir? Thank you. I am great. Good Thank to you for see having you. me. Hold on. Before you sit down, I usually tell people to sit down. Yeah. I understand that you do a pretty darn good Jim Cramer. Well, I want to be a brand. So think about when people hear this. Hey, I'm a shark. Welcome to brand money. Welcome to Day America. <laughs> Some people want to make friends. Day America. I just want to make your brand. And if I make your brand, you will definitely make the cash. I'm not only here to entertain you, but to educate you. So please call me 1-800. 743 CNBC. There so, was no cue card. That was done. You are the master. You are the master. I learned. Thank I learned you, from man. the best. Oh, man, you're the best. Have a seat. <laughs> Have a seat. All right. Let's start up with what does a brand mean to a stock, to a company, and why? How do we get to be like you? How can we start figuring this out? Well, here's the problem. You know, CEOs themselves, a lot of them do not understand the aspect of branding because they have enough things to do. Right. Financing, product development, making the shareholders happy, but you're being branded regardless, no matter what. That's why when we listen to the conference calls every quarter, it's not because the data is not there. We already have the data. Right. We want to hear that tremble in the voice or that confidence from the CEO. And then we buy into it or we say pull back. Look what happened the other day. Google, they just said the CEO will not be on the conference well, call what, anymore. What did, you, what did you make of that? I don't know, but I saw the market made of it. Let's pull out of here because somebody's nervous. Right. So here's my thing. You need to understand branding as a CEO more than anybody else because you know the only company that doesn't need to brand? Department of Treasury. That's all I care about. <laughs> and at the end of the day, that. it's about money. I love that. Now, here's a shorthand that, you've, that I think that you figured out that no one else has. This three-word brand. Explain, explain. Well, the three-word brand. Everybody needs to have three words to represent their brand, whether in person or their company. So BMW, fine German engineering. TNT, we know drama. My favorite. White Castle, what you crave, right? Don't you love that? I love those things. Even the Schwarzenegger, <laughs> I'll be back. Right. Whatever it is, right. if you can right. sum up right. your, it's, it's a mission statement. And you know what? The, your, your staff, the people in the world, everybody will know your mission statement with those three words like Nike, just do it. You understand? Now, how did, uh, if, if when in the book, The Brand Within, you explain this, you explain the concept. Let's say, oh, wait, wait, wait. What's, what do you got for me? I like the fact that we're both talking here. So, you know, you got the bull and you got the shark. Here we go. Just talking. You're going to become a bull shark soon, but let's, uh, let, let, let's... Well, show me some. Go, you know, go ahead. Give me some well, insight. Well, well you know, this is my first book that I wrote, okay. you know, right? Sorry, I didn't want to hit that. I didn't want to hit that, right? This is the second one that you did an endorsement on. I you like bet that. I did. All right, right? That's that one, right? Wow. And, uh... This is uh, this is your bobblehead, right? Head, right. right? Well, that's a, yeah, and a this is my bobblehead. Oh, come on, come on, man! You can't keep. I got. You it. are stealing my brand. I'm, 
I'm leveraging off your brand. I'm not stealing it. And that's exactly how people have to do these days with their companies. All right, so who has done a bad job branding? Who doesn't belong in the index? Intel is having a very bad job so branding. So true, right? What about BlackBerry? Think about BlackBerry. Okay. They have pushed technology. They've been out a long time. They sold more units this quarter than any other time, but then the stock suffered. Why? Yes. Because would you buy a BlackBerry television? Uh, no. Okay, well, but you'd buy an Apple one. Absolutely. Because be Apple, Apple has created its name on it? it created a halo effect. Now, BlackBerry has pure, clean technology. Why can't that be handsets? Why can't that be television monitors? Why can't that be anything else? We would buy into it because now Apple created such a halo effect that I don't care what they sell, I'm a buyer. It's really true. It I is. I mean, they really can. It I is. Mean, iPad, people bought 300000 before they had even seen the darn thing. ATT bought, decided to take the iPhone before they had even seen the iPhone because of, of that halo effect that you talk the about. The halo effect. All right. Now, how about the halo effect when it comes to athletes? Because, you know, here you have Tiger Woods, yep. greatest golfer of our lifetime. Uh, tarnished brand uh, takes away from the well, here, company? Here's, here's what it is. You know, I, I can sit here and talk about branding, 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 but you have to come from a, a base of purity. Now, right. Right. Tiger Woods, why are we into Tiger Woods? Because he plays the best game of golf right. in the world. Right. And at the end of the day, I'm telling you now live, it will not matter. Why? Muhammad Ali damaged his brand at the most pivotal time in our nation. Most celebrated athlete in the world. Absolutely. Kobe Bryant not only was right. infidelity, they said, accused him of breaking the law. Right. More sponsors now than ever. Why? Because if Tiger comes back and does what his brand is named for, about. that's all we really care about at the end of the day but he has to stay true to his brand. All right, let's talk about some that are in the index. Uh, I'm gonna just yeah. you know, mention ones that I, that I think are terrific. Let's start with Disney. What are they doing right? Disney is, Mickey Mouse is everything. You know, they have the ESPN magazine, they have Disney, they have the world. Whenever you think of a movie that comes out by Disney, whether they are acquiring Pixar, right. it's always clean, happy, fun, right. and it makes you feel good. Most controversial one in your index, I think, J.P. Morgan. Don't we hate all banks? We do hate all banks, but you know what? Dimer, right. right. He did not Dime. fall in. Jamie Dimer. No. Jamie Dimer did not fall into the problems of everybody else. He was a brand. He was a traditional, close to the chest, right. you know, CEO that right. ran this business, and he literally became the last man standing. It was because his brand was replicated so in J.P. Right. Dimer. In, that's in why I Morgan. think that stock is a winner. That that's exactly why I'm going to charitable trust. The book is the brand within. Now listen. This is Damon John, businessman, fashion designer, and author. I want you to join me tomorrow, 7 p.m. at Borders, the Time Warner Center. Come to New York for this thing. He's going to be signing copies of his new book, The Brand Within, which I have endorsed and love. We got some hats. Oh, what do we got? I don't know. We got some hats. We're going to wear some hats. We're going to wear some hats. We're branding. <laughs> this might fit him. You are the best. You are the best. After the break, we're going to try to make some more money. Later, man, money. <laughs>